It's the third Thursday in September. It's Delaware, Ohio, and that means Little Brown Jug. $551,000 plus on the line, and three divisions of the finest pacing Colts in the sport are on display. In the first of three eliminations, from which three horses will advance, a big-time matchup between Badlands Nitro and Shadow Play, and it lived up to the billing. Nitro, down the lane they come. Shadow Play, Badlands Nitro, Shadow Play wins the first elimination. The second division brought forth six more star pacers with the early scratch of Deuce Sealster. It was a wide open affair. The fans had a hard time settling on a favorite, but three more advanced to the second heat of the Little Brown Jug. Artificial has the rail in the third of three eliminations. He took a rather expensive route to Delaware, Ohio, wasn't eligible to the cane pace, paid a supplement, and won the first leg of the pacing triple crown. That made him eligible to pony up $45,000 more to come here to Delaware, Ohio. Everyone's eyes are on Artificial, who has the rail, and he's the big favorite in the third elimination. Once again, three Colts will move through after this one into a second and possibly final heat. Santana Blue Chip, Artificial on the outside. Santana Blue Chip, Artificial on the outside. Coming to the wire. Artificial. One, 52 and three. So there you have it, three eliminations, and we're halfway home. The three eliminations winners, well, if one wins the second heat, we're all done. If not, the four winners will come back for a winner-take-all race-off. What a great storyline. We equaled the world record in the first elimination when David Miller drove shadow play to victory. And then in the second elimination, we had a new world record, 149-3, when David Miller drove Lone Star Legend. And then the overall race favorite, Artificial, he made it to the winner's circle on a long overland, a hard trip, a slow mile, relatively, 152-3. and three. 
The question was, who would David Miller drive in the second heat? He answered it very quickly. Shadow Play was his choice. He's been driving Shadow Play all along, and Lone Star legend will get Dave Pallone in the second heat. Another story coming out of the eliminations, the Badlands Nitro, one of the overall race favorites here, is out, drawn after having drawn post position four in the second and possible final heat. So there you have it. Three solid entrants, each with solid credentials, going into possibly the final heat of the Little Brown Jug. David Miller, Shadow Play, win the Little Brown Jug! One, 50 and one. World record, two heats. This is great. Dr. Ian Moore, you have all of Prince Edward Island here, but tell us, you had some anxious moments after the first heat. What went on in the paddock, and how did you treat him? Well, um, the girls were bathing the horse after the first race. Um, he was favoring his right front, and he was lame on it. Uh, and he d he's really sore on the inside of his foot. He developed a heel separation, it looked like. Uh, Eric Wilk, the blacksmith, we, we put some leather pads on him and left the inside open. You've got to go for photos. What a great story, Ian. Congratulations. Thank you very much. There just may be everyone from Prince Edward Island, Canada, here in the winner's circle at the Little Brown Jug. Shadow play, the 63rd winner in classic style for local driver David Miller, Dr. Ian Moore, and former Canadian hockey great Serge Savard. Plenty of reasons to smile in the Little Brown Jug, a two-heat world record here in Delaware, Ohio. It's in the record books. Great thrills all around.